Ever wondered which items can give your rogue character an edge in Baldur's Gate 3? Look no further. In this game, the right equipment can significantly enhance the rogue's live abilities from armor and cloaks to jewelry and weapons. Here are 15 extraordinary items to boost your rogue's performance in Baldur's Gate 3. First up, the Moondrop Pendant. Found in Act 1, this amulet helps rogues avoid attacks of opportunity when injured, allowing them to maneuver during combat. Next, the Deathstalker Mantle, exclusive to Dark Urge characters, makes the wearer invisible for two turns after defeating an opponent. Perfect for stealth focus classes. And for rogues requiring additional protection, the Drow Studded Leather Armor is an excellent choice. Offering an AC of 12 plus the Rogue's Dexterity modifier, it's useful both in and out of combat situations. The Sword of Life Stealing, a very rare short sword, supports snake attacks and grants the Rogue temporary hit points on a critical hit. Uh, the Ambusher Short Sword, available in Act 3, provides a plus one bonus to initiative and grants an advantage on perception checks. Uh, it's Ambusher Street Trait deals extra necrotic damage to, to opponents who haven't active in combat yet. Uh, the Risky Ring, you know, sold in Act 2, uh, grants advantage on attack rolls, but causes disadvantage in saving throws. Uh, uh, disintegrating Night Walkers, very rare boots from Act 1, uh, grant immunity to being webbed, entangled, or ensnared. They also prevent slipping on grease or ice, and allow for one use of a repositioning spell or in the short rest. The Susser Dagger created in Act 1, cast a spell on any target hit with it, temporarily disabling enemy spellcasters. The Shade Slayer Cloak, sold in Act 3, decreases the will required for a critical hit by one, increasing the wearer's performance when hidden. The Stalker Gloves, also sold in Act 3, increase sneak attack damage by an additional 1d4 points of force damage. And the elegant studded leather, uh, very rare light armor from Act 2, offers an AC of 14 plus the rogue's dexterity modifier and provides a plus 2 bonus uh, to initiative wills. The bloodthirst dagger, dropped by Orion Act 3, lessens the count required for a critical hit by 1 and functions as a bound weapon. The uh, Crimson Mischief short sword, also dropped by Orin, adds your ability score to its damage when used as an offhand weapon and causes extra seven points of piercing damage with advantage. Uh, the Knife of the Undermountain King, uh, a very rare short sword sold in Act 1, grants an advantage in attack rolls against enemies obscured by light or heavy cover. Finally, the Ballast Armor, sold in Act 3, offers a plus two enhancement to your initiative rolls and makes every enemy within arm's reach susceptible to piercing damage. With these 15 items, your rogue will be unstoppable in Baldur's Gate 3. Just remember, the right equipment can make all the difference. Happy gaming! And if you enjoyed this list, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for, uh, why don't we ever tell secrets in a graveyard because you can't trust the tombs. They always let the plot out. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, that's the